Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, once the fog moved into Minot, it really moved in. This is the Minot Sky Cam. You can barely see uh, any lights out there as we're looking uh, west from our studios. Now, earlier today, I was up at Minot State. Uh, they had an etiquette luncheon, and this was for students to learn about uh, the proper etiquette for if you were having a business meal. And so I, I had a chance to meet four new friends, and what was particularly interesting is all four of those students are from other countries, uh, from Colombia, from the Dominican Republic, and from Brazil. And it really was a lot of fun talking about them, like what kind of things they ate when at their meals, and just their daily life. It just really was a lot of fun. I want to thank the folks at MSU for inviting me, and for the four of them for just a really good time today. 31 degrees in Minot. The northeast wind is at 7. It actually feels like 24. In Williston, 35 degrees. Southwest wind at 6. Feels like 30. Here are some of the other temperatures temperatures around the area. A little colder in Harvey, but still very pleasant temperatures for North Dakota because it could be so much colder. It never got windy today. Roughly five miles an hour in the south. Beach had 10 miles an hour about an hour ago, but still that was it. Now Harvey has the 10 mile an hour wind. And same thing in Crosby. It's still uh, very, very pleasant conditions. Now around the rest of the country, most of the U.S. has some pretty nice weather. So if you were, have relatives uh, maybe flying in tonight, there shouldn't be any airport delays. Now let's take a look at what's going on for the next several days. And once we get into tomorrow morning, there is going to be a storm system moving into the Pacific coast. There there may be some issues at Seattle's airport, maybe, and but it looks like Minneapolis, uh, most of the country, uh, really good. Now, by tomorrow evening, it looks like maybe still the West Coast gets rain, but most of the rest of the country shouldn't have any travel delays. Then Thursday, not a lot of people will be flying, but you might be driving, and it looks like the weather across North Dakota on Thursday looks real nice. Once we get into Friday morning, if uh, you, maybe your relatives are heading on, are heading back out, looks like there may be a storm system brewing uh, south of us, but still some snow in the Rockies, rain in the Pacific Coast, but at least Minneapolis and the New York airports, nothing big going on. Friday afternoon into Friday evening, looks like some snow in the west. And then once we get into Saturday, if you're, uh, or your relatives are staying into the weekend, I think it's probably Saturday night into Sunday is when there may be some issues, possibly at uh, the New York airport, but it doesn't look like much going on around Minneapolis or the Denver airport. So for the most part, the weather should be pretty nice. Now when we look at fog potential, uh, and this has actually moved a little bit uh, from what I showed at 5 o'clock tonight, but this would be an area that would expect uh, some dense fog tonight into tomorrow morning. And within this, there may also be some patchy freezing drizzle. So that would tend to put a little bit of a glaze on the road. So if you're going to be driving tomorrow, you might want to check the road report. And of course, meteorologist Amber Wheeler will have that tomorrow morning on Good Day Dakota, but still could have some slick roads in the morning with that fog. Now, the temperatures early in the day really aren't going to be that bad by North Dakota standards. Uh, teens and 20s, well, maybe not quite the teens in rugby. Once we get into uh, 12 noon or so, we should be in the teens and 20s and maybe 30s in the west. So again, much warmer temperatures. So you want to make sure, you might want to make sure you have windshield wa washer fluid for your car. And then tomorrow afternoon, again, 20s and 30s. So we'll be a little bit colder than today but not a lot colder. And as we look at the next several days, it looks like the temperature will probably top out on Friday, around 40 degrees in the north, and then it is going to get colder for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and possibly Tuesday, but I think warmer weather is on the way by Wednesday of next week, and shopping weather, Friday morning, boy, this doesn't look bad at all. Those are pretty good conditions to do any shopping this Friday, and we'll have another outlook on the weather coming up tonight at 10.